Well, things have moved on quite well with this ESP8266 Internet of Things module. I'll show you what it does and then I'll explain it all. What we've basically got now is the module in front here. I've got an optically isolated switch circuit. I've got a motor connected to that just for demonstration purposes. Then I've got a webcam here and that is connected to the computer but the images are all served up in an app. And the app you might be able to see has changed somewhat. You can see the 10 second delay too going on on the camera image, which is part of the iVideon uh, thing, so I might actually change the code for that. But if I touch the on, you can see the motor spin, touch the off, and you can see that it stops. And it's all very, very quick, and that's why I prefer this version of code. Plus there's a bit more colour going on. So I'll switch it on again, and switch it off. Okay, so now I'll explain how it does that. Right, so what we've got going on here is if you've seen Julian Illett's videos you'll have seen the way he's connected an LED to GPIO4 on the circuit and that's basically what's going on here that every time I'm pressing on and off the LED is coming on and a light dependent resistor is picking that up. That's how it gets to be optically isolated it passes the signal to an NPN transistor, which in this case is a C945, and then out to the motor for the motor control. Now where I got the code from was from openhomeautomation.net, and his blog is really cool and shows you a really interesting thing whereby it goes off to collect a couple of pieces of JavaScript from online, and I like that in itself. He goes over to jQuery.com for the button code, and it goes over to a bootstrapping site for the fast response times when you're pressing the on and off. Uh, then what I've done is I've changed the code around which will be posted in the description box such that I use the iVideon.com web server for the web images, for the internet images. Something to note is the web address that the little module is actually serving from and in this case it's slider2732.duckdns.org If you go over to duckdns.org uh, there's actually a, a forwarding IP service as well. What it enables you to do is to have the little module have its own internet address. Uh, as I say, in this case, slider2732.duckdns.org. Okay, thanks for watching.